the examples of when we were working on this game, we wanted characters from way back in the past, and we wanted characters that are just coming into their own. So there's uh, our warlock, uh, Gul'dan, who you mostly know of, you know, from his skull these days, yeah. and and died a long time ago. And at the same time, you have characters like Anduin, who in Cataclysm is, or I mean, uh, Missa oh, Pandaria. Yeah, he's kind of but Missa Pandaria is really really moving. All right, so here we are, our opening hand for the rogue deck. I've got Defias Ringleader. Uh, combo works if you've played a card already this turn, and then you play a combo card, it does something more. So uh, in this case, uh, I want to play something first and then play him. The rest of these cards, I think I might just get rid of them. They're, they're a little high cost. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm always torn about the Kodo. I'd certainly get rid of the Assassinate, and the Kodo is uh, probably get rid of it, because we want to have something to combo with that Defias Ringleader, yeah. I think. All right. Oh, we got an eviscerate, a golden. Okay, eviscerate. that looks that looks very solid. And again, that's one of the golden cards that you can sort of see where we're going with it, but it doesn't have all the animations and that you will uh, expect when we ship. Greetings, Malfurion. So we have a question about: uh, Does each class have a play niche, like uh, minion buff druid or heal control priest? Well, yeah, we have uh, mechanics that kind of feel unique for each class. The rogue mechanic is combo. Uh, no other class has any combo cards, and we tried to make sure that each class felt you need to play. Each class has their own hero power. Yeah, the druid that we're playing against, nobody else has the choose one ability, so only druid will have cards that can say do this or that. They have a lot of options, and each class has something like that that's that's pretty special for that class. So Young Priestess is, is really strong. If he gets another minion out, it'll start buffing his other minions. Should I use my Eviscerate now without the combo effect to get rid of it, or should I just maybe use my weapon and start getting some damage to it uh, in the short term? Um, I, I'm distracted by our questions because oh, we sorry. got the question I was I was afraid of. Oh, uh, what's that? It's what's the name of the fish? <laughs> <laughs> it's the Hearthstone beta fish. <laughs> Mateo, did you ask that question? I feel like that was you. Somebody actually asked it. <laughs> oh, knife juggler. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of knife juggler in the the. Yeah, we're seeing them, uh, a lot today, actually. Hmm. Well, I uh, I don't I really want to be able to combo these guys, but I don't have a lot of low cost cards yet. I should put more in this deck. The Bloodsail Raider isn't bad. Well, except we want to use it as a combo starter, so maybe we just start with our weapon. Yeah. Okay. So this uh, I can use my hero power to get a dagger. And I can use it again to give it plus one attack uh, for a turn. So uh, should I run it into this knife juggler? It's going to cost me some damage. Uh, just to weaken him, and then next turn I can buff my weapon and attack him again. All right, yeah. Let's do it. Uh, and we, we got a question, uh, why did the rogue start with three cards? Oh, uh, you start with, both players start with three cards, and then uh, if you win the coin flip, uh, you go first, and otherwise you get one extra card. So, uh, player two gets four uh, to start, and player one gets three. So we can expect, yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see multiple minions to kind of power up the knife juggler here. Yeah, well, just used, uh, or I could be entirely wrong. And we'll see if he chooses, this is his choose one. He could either choose the uh, charge form where he gets to attack right away, or he could have extra health and taunt. So he chose to, chose to be very aggressive here. Yeah, we're already down to 20. Uh, well, at least at this point, we can start to combo some things. Uh, so I could use my weapon and kill that knife juggler. It's sort of tempting to sap the, the druid. Well, this minion has charge now, so... But he only has three mana. He had to use Innervate oh, to bring it out. So, right. so we're costing him in a card. And that will trigger the, the combo ability if we want to bring out that Defias Ringleader, which puts two guys on the table yeah, for us. Yeah, he's combo now. But I could also power my weapon up and just finish off this Knife Juggler immediately. That actually seems pretty tempting to me. Yeah, or you could... Well, actually, I guess you don't want to bring him out because he's great for starting combos. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just get rid of this Knife Juggler before he starts doing more silliness. Leave him with nothing on the table and put the onus on him to bring something scary. Because now, next turn, I start being able to play some pretty great cards. Yeah. So Captain Greenskin, I can, every time I attack, draw a card. And the Assassin's Blade has got a huge amount of durability. And, and Dave is asking if there's a time limit. And there's absolutely a time limit. We don't want somebody to, you know, walk away if they're not in good shape. So after a certain amount of time, uh, a fuse will appear in the middle of the screen and burn across. And when it finishes, that person just turn is done automatically, even if they they uh, haven't played any cards. So there's definitely a term, turn limit. So I've got some setup here I want to do. I've got the Assassin's Blade that's great with the Bloodsail Raider, who gets more attack uh, when, I, when I have a weapon. And I have Deadly Poison, uh, which is just incredible, uh, especially when you have four durability like this. And I'm gonna... Yeah, I think that that's a great choice. He has nothing on the table. Yeah. It, it's perfect. Uh, I attacked once with it because I'm scared there's some cards that destroy weapons, and I don't want him to get 
uh, the full use out of that. So I'm going to attack once, at least do a little bit of damage in case mm -hmm. he's going to destroy it next turn. So I'm going to answer a couple quick questions. One was about the gem in the center. If you could mouse over one of our, like, Captain Greenskin there. Sure. That gem in the center, that means that that's a legendary card. Yeah. And it's just our way of indicating the rarity of the cards. Yeah. And uh, another question has to do with whether you can build a hero focus deck without hardly any minions. And the answer is you definitely can. Uh, in recent weeks, we've certainly seen a number of mage decks that have focused on blasting the opponent down with spells and maybe a smattering of uh, minions with spell power to sort of finish the player off. Okay, anyway, so back to the game. We've got, uh, I think I'm a Deadly Poison, just to start off with a huge weapon. I can not just attack this guy, but I'm getting really low. Uh, I think but I probably do have to attack him, though. No, you didn't, because you have Captain Greens. Oh, wait, uh, whenever he attacks. So you could drop him and draw a card, but yeah, that's still... Uh, I also could play all these... Uh, combo guys now. Yeah, you could play a two and a three. We'd fill our board up pretty well. I think, though, the rifle, right just get an extra card here. I need to make sure I have responses in case he does something kind of ridiculous. But that's good. I got backstab. That's great for starting combos. I mean, yeah. not only is it a good card in and of itself, but it's great for, for letting some of these other combo cards go. Certainly, and uh, I could play backstab and then follow it up with the SI7 agent, uh, and that's, that's four damage total. So he's swiping here. Presumably, maybe using his hero power. Oh, he's going to use Wrath. This I, ha time I, I have damage. a question for you, by the way. We yeah. had, there was a question about whether we have a leaderboard at the office. And, and I know you had a feeling about who the best, the best Hearthstone player was, if you wanted to share I that. Seen, with I haven't seen a leaderboard, but, uh, but I'm sure I'm at the top of it. So. <laughs> All right, so I, uh, I'm going to start off with the Bloodsail Raider. He's going to get five attack from. The fact that I have this five attack. Yeah, that's here. a fantastic. Play. And now I have all this, uh, these combo guys. And the up. question is now, do we want to fill our board in case he has some sort of? Uh, well, he just did a swipe, so filling our board actually seems like a great play. Yeah, I, I, why not? Yeah, well, in case he had some an area of effect, but after using the swipe, I'm less worried. Well, if we don't keep some pressure on now, I think it's going to be tough. We're already at eight health, uh, and so I need to make sure to kill him before he draws some direct damage, maybe, to finish me off. He's got his hero power, so he can deal one damage a turn. Uh oh, he's apologizing in advance. Uh -oh, oh, no. Is he's, it he's, claw bite? Or yeah, he's double. Claw, that's claw, two claws. That's six. And savage roar. Well, that's a huge amount of damage out of nowhere. Yep. And so there's, the, there's a question about the yellow outline around the rogue cards. What that means is that the combo power for that card has been activated. So yeah. it's just an indicator to the player that, oh, if I play this 